it looks like I broke the wing again. Okay, so most of you saw one of my previous videos where I built my first fixed wing aircraft and the first flight didn't go so well. If you haven't seen that video, check out the card in the upper right hand corner and watch that first. I'll give you a little spoiler. I crashed the plane on my first flight. This was a huge bummer, of course, because I'd spent so many hours building this thing and of course I crashed it on the first flight. After talking to a friend at work who also does some model aircraft, he recommended getting one of these dongles on eBay for like five bucks. And what this does is it plugs into the USB port on your computer and then on the other end, it plugs right into your transmitter and it has like a simulation software and you can use the actual transmitter you use when you're flying your real planes to practice a simulated aircraft. So I've been doing that for the past several weeks and you get to crash as many times as you want without any consequence, it's pretty awesome. So I've gotten to the point where I can take off the plane and fly around and land it without crashing. So I feel pretty confident. So here you can see me flying a model Airbus. I may have gotten a little too comfortable flying this thing and started showing off. Since the plane was made out of foam, I could repair it with just a hot glue gun. Man, where's my hot glue gun? Hot glue gun, hot glue gun, I'm looking for you. Please fix my plane by squirting some glue. After a couple more rounds of Fiddler on the Roof, I found my hot glue gun and got to work. The wing had snapped in half and so I just put in a big old popsicle stick. Hopefully that will work. So the next thing I want to do is spray paint the Sea Duck the yellow and red colors and maybe go outside and give it a try. I went ahead and pulled up a picture online just to make sure I got the red accents in the right spot. I read somewhere that when you're using spray paint on this type of foam, that it's good to make the first coat just a light dusting and then let it dry. This gives the second coat something to adhere to. Here's what it looked like all finished. I made sure to take a lot of photos first because I knew there was a good chance I was going to crash it. So this was my first attempt and I noticed right away that the ailerons weren't letting me turn the plane so I tried to just land it safely. And I found out why the ailerons weren't working. Yeah. Yep, I'm an idiot. I don't know if you can see that. I totally left the tape on the servos that control the ailerons, so that's why they weren't moving. Attempt number two went much better. Uh, you can actually see it here. I did an entire uh, loop around the entire park, but it went into the sun and I lost it for a second, but luckily I found it again and was able to fly it back and landed it without crashing. Hey, not bad. I didn't crash it, so that's good. I decided to walk to the other side of the park so that the sun would be to my back, but my third and final attempt did not go so well. Ooh, that was not good. It looks exactly like how I did the first time when the battery came out. It's not good when you can pull the battery out of the nose of your airplane. Well, that was fun. Just means I get to fix it again and fly it again. So 
I think that pretty much wraps up this video. Uh, here's another link for the video where I built the Sea Duck and you can watch me crash it and laugh at my face. Here's another video I think you might enjoy. So if you really like these videos and wanna watch me build more cool stuff and probably make a lot more mistakes, click the subscribe button and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I'll see you next time.